All right, folks, welcome back to Karak Avalon's Gaming. We're back in Valheim, and today we have another seed discovery video for you. Um, if you're a frequent flyer on my channel, you know that Valheim, one of the things I like to do is find and map out some seeds that have maypoles. Um, so normally when you see a seed discovery video on my on my channel it will have maypoles uh, this particular one has two maypoles so that's cool so before I get going let me say thank you thank you for taking your time to watch my content I really appreciate it please smash that like button please subscribe please share the video all that stuff really helps the channel out and it keeps me motivated as a creator I really really appreciate it I do have some mirror sites for my YouTube channel on Rumble and on BitChute and I will leave a link to those in the description below so if YouTube is no longer your thing or you on alt tech and want to check out a gaming channel you can find me there so Valheim um, it, you know it came out in February I've been playing uh, I've got hundreds of hours into this game it's a fun game um, one of the best parts about this game is is trying to find maypoles um, I know it's a little sub game okay not everybody's into that you don't need a maypole to have a good Valheim experience. It's a very minor thing, but it's unique. Now, during the summer, we were able to build them because they did a um, a May Day event, and you could build them. It gives you a plus one comfort, which is it, which is nice, but it's not necessary. Um, but now you can't build them anymore, so you know it's now we've got to go find them again. And this particular seed. I found two of them. So you can see I've got two camps set up, and I'm on this further camp here. There's the maypole for this camp. Now, not super close to the ocean, but if you see, um, it really drops down here, and you've got a nice little natural port right here if you wanted it. Now, that stone's a problem, but I could see you building out here. I mean, that's really, that's a really nice ocean access, okay? Um, this particular little village doesn't have much. Uh, there's, you know, there's some wood resources here, a couple of berry plants. There is a beehive in here, which is nice. Um, so you got that, and you got this other little structure. But the main thing is, is it's really, really close to um, the Black Forest, which I've already got a guest. Okay. So, the nice part about that is, is these two circles right here are copper deposits, okay? So, you've got really close access to copper deposits. You've got a maypole right here. I could see you building a little um, crafting hut there. The downside to this is, is you're going to have, you may have trolls. And a troll can come right in and destroy everything. It can destroy your maypole as well. But... Being this close to Dark Forest is fantastic. Now, what's this camp over here? This is our second maypole, and it's really not that far. Um, so let's use it here and run over to it. And we will I will show you the Valheim seed map as well. Um, that, that'll show you all the resources, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So there is a shrine over here, okay? There's an Ichthyr shrine, which is great. It's right in between both of these. Now, I think this this second location over here is the better location, okay? So you can see you've got some wood resources. In all these little villages, you're always going to have a couple of um, hogs running around, a boar. So that's always good. Now, this one isn't much closer to the water, but um, again, a nice little port area that you could build right here. I could see you building the port right here. Okay, and then boom, you've got ocean access. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe something right here. I, I, that rock is prohibitive, so I could see you building maybe a pig pen there. I don't know. A um, couple of buildings here, nothing spectacular. There's my little raft, which I'll go over in a minute. Um, so not a lot of berries, not a lot of bees in this area. 
but two maypoles. So those maypoles are within running distance. Now this would be a pretty good little setup if um, you had two people playing, maybe head to head. Uh, if you were doing a um, team run through or maybe just a, a duo run through of the game, you know, you're trying to play with some mods maybe, and you wanted to do a really harder playthrough. Um, each person could have, you know, a, uh, a maypole. Um, I think both locations are, are decent. Both of them have waterfront fairly close by. Both of them have buildable waterfront fairly close by. Um, and, you know, the Dark Forest is close by. Other resources, it's not great. Um, I didn't see a whole lot here. Now, the issue is, is you're on a sep another island. Okay, you have to actually sail over here. This is a separate island. And again, I'll show you the, the Valheim seed map in a minute. So, it, it's just directly east of uh, the spawn. So, there's that issue. Right in here, though, is that Ichthyr Shrine, which is nice. You're still going to have to map back here, though, to to turn it in, turn in your uh, trophies. But, you know, not, not a big deal. I, I sailed over in a raft. Didn't take long at all. It's it's really not that far. So two decent maypoles by the water. I would rate that probably a seven or an eight for how close they are. The overall seed, though, I'm going to probably give it almost a nine. I'm probably an eight and a half or a nine, and here's why. So let's take a look at everything. Okay, let's un undo all of this. Okay, so... First of all, here's where we're at. Okay, we're at this maypole right now, but as you can see, right in between, there's a boar rune stone. So you've got two boar rune stones right here that you're going to be able to, to harvest your, your boars. You're going to be able to have boar farm here, so that's good. Um, what else did I want to show you? Oh, the bosses. Okay, so you've, there's that Ichthyr shrine. Now, the other bosses are fairly close by. You've got the Elder on the same island, okay? And you've got Bone Mass on this island, okay? So in theory, um, you get over here, you really, you just run up here. And the nice part about this Bone Mass location is, is just you've got this um, Meadows right here that you can build a little base. Now, you've also got a Bone Mass over here, you've got a Bone Mass here. Okay, you've got Yagloth here, and you've got Motor here. So you've got everything fairly close. I mean, you're going to have to have a boat ride, but you've got three bosses right here. And the nice part about this Yagloth, um, I always struggle in the plains. That's uh, been the bane of my existence because of the death mosquitoes. I just have trouble with them. There's a nice plains location here. Now, and there's one village, okay? So what, I, what I'm envisioning is, is... I'm probably going to set up there because if we look at this bone mass, th there's an unbelievable amount of crypts here. I mean, that's huge. And there's a bone mass there. Okay, so I've got motor, I've got bone mass, and I've got Yagloth right here. And I've got all these crypts. In addition to that, um, I've got dark forest crypts all by the elder right here. I've got bone mass up here if I want to go there. I've got a village here. So I really think the boss setup for this particular low particular seed is fantastic. Um, I, I would definitely rate that pretty high. Yeah, you got to get on a boat to get to these maypoles. Um, you got to get on a boat to get to these three bosses here, but all the bosses are pretty centrally located. Now where's the trader? Even better. He's on his own little island down here. Okay. Is that wonderful? No, you, you definitely have to get on a boat to get to him. But the nice part about him is, is you've got this troll cave, okay? So troll caves are fantastic, because you can build just a quick little portal right there. You clear the cave and close the entrance, and you can build a portal and a bed in there, and boom, you've got your trader um, port right there. You can just, you know, it, it's real simple. You, you do have to sail there first. That's... You know, part of the game, you're going to have to do that, but very easy to build a base there. Not only that, it's a fairly small island, so you'd be able to farm this island pretty well. And if you want, there's a bone mass right there. Uh, so, 
again, um, uh, nice little little location for the trader. Fairly close. You don't have to sail all over creation. What else can I show you here? Leviathans. Um, so two very close by. One here and one slightly up there. These two are fairly close together as well. But look at this over here, the four. And this is right on the path to getting over to this village, which is, like I said, I foresee being a, gr a great place to set up. You port over here and you'll be able to get to all three of these. I don't know if this is walkable or not, but I can. you can just build a little raft, basically, and float over to either one of these locations if you so chose. But, you know, four leviathans here, two fairly close here, and two right there. That's that's really nice. Um, other than that, I don't, I mean, beehives, there's not that many. Um, on the main island where you start, you know, uh, you can, normally what I would do is, is I would try to get, I like to have five or six bees if possible, queen bees. Uh, honey is a real cheap food. It's real easy to get early on and it helps, you know, it's just nice to have, um, but if you just boat over here, you're only going to have a couple. Now, not the end of the world, but uh, still, that's it's an early resource. For er for your early Valheim game, you definitely want to have bees producing honey for you. So overall, um, I think this is a very good seed. Uh, I would rate this an 8 or a 9, in my opinion. Um, you've got the two maypoles. They're both fairly good access to the water, so you can build port. Um, this would be a great seed to have a duo run through on on a hard modded modded game. Okay, so if you're if you're one of those people that likes to mod Valheim and it's really you know you've made it really challenging, um, you know you've got two locations that have maypoles fairly close by. You know two teams if you want. Uh, you know one one team base here, another team base at the other location. You've got dark black forest here. And as we saw, the, the bosses are very, very close. So overall, I definitely give this an 8.5 or a 9. I think this is a really good seed. And I would highly recommend you check it out. Um, because it has maypoles. And maypoles are now a thing again. We have to find them. So I found two of them. Um, I'll leave a, the seed in the description of the video. And I'll leave a, a the seed in uh, the description uh, box at the bottom of the video as well. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll talk to you again soon.